Hello Tipsters and Tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Bee, I am a vintage glamour enthusiast and musician. I make vintage beauty and lifestyle videos with a little bit of sustainability, veganism and lifestyle thrown in for good measure. So if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when my videos come out. Today is a fashion based video. I have gone through a lot in the last year and I really feel like I'm in a big moment of transition and change and coming with that is a transition in my style. Don't worry, I still love vintage, I still dress vintage, but within that niche I really feel a shift and I also just feel like, you know like sometimes when you've had stuff for a long time and you feel like you've grown and changed, it's like your old life is kind of attached to those things as much as I love it and as much as it's beautiful pieces, it's time to move on and get something fresh into my life. So what I'm going to be doing today is trying on a whole bunch of stuff that I'm thinking about getting rid of and deciding what is going to stay and what is going to go. So without further ado, let's get into it. What have you got? I have this giant box of clothing to go through and this big pile on the bed here. I'm basically just going to be going through and trying things on and then deciding whether it's a stayer or whether it's a goer. Anything that I do get rid of, I'm gonna be putting on my Instagram shop first and foremost. So that is vintage tips and tricks underscore shop. Anything that doesn't sell there, I will pop onto Depop and eBay. But yeah, if there's anything that you see, do check out the shop. If it isn't listed, uh, it probably just hasn't been put up yet. So if you want something specific, do DM me on that account and ask me about the item and I'll give you further information and prices. Let's do the first outfit. I think I'm gonna start with skirts. By the way, um, I am in love with these jeans. I'm not wearing the best underwear, so you've probably seen my underwear line, but eh well. Um, but I normally hate jeans. I eliminated jeans from my life because they were ill-fitting and uncomfortable. But Lady K Loves very kindly sent me this pair of Hug Me Babies. And oh my God, they are so comfortable and so flattering. Like, look at them. Uh, I've literally been living in these for the last week. They really need to be washed. But, you know, I'm comfortable, guys. I'm gonna have to hold my phone in my hand because I have nowhere to put it, but this is the first skirt. I don't have heels on, <laughs> but this is a collective skirt that I bought like within the first couple of weeks that I moved to London. I had never shopped a collective and I wanted to go and buy something. It was on sale and I freaking love it. I love the color, I love the style, but I literally never wear this. Like I think I've worn this once in the entire time that I've owned it. So it's basically in as new condition and it is unloved. So I'm definitely gonna sell this one despite the fact that now that I've put it on, I like it. It's definitely my style, but you know, like if it's not getting wear, there's no point me keeping it. So yeah, that's one for the bye bye pile. I actually really like this skirt. I know it's really simple, but I've always really liked it, which is why I bought it. It is true vintage and it's too big for me. And I always said to myself that I was going to get my sewing machine out and figure out how to make it smaller. But I, I don't really know how to sew. Like I can do basic repairs, but I have no idea how to make something fit me better without it looking really crappy. And it's just been sitting in the pile of things that I will do forever. So it's time to move on. It's time to move on, B. Just do it. Just move on. This skirt, I actually, I really like this. I bought it because I really liked it. It's so cool. It has like, let me come up close. It has all these like geometric shapes on it. It is so, so pretty. I don't know if you guys are gonna get this, but it feels like I'm wearing someone else's clothing. Like every time I put this on, I don't feel like myself. Can you relate to that? Like I can appreciate a piece of clothing for being beautiful and really like it, but somehow when I wear it, I don't feel like it suits me. And it's not even that I don't think it looks good. It's just that it doesn't, it feels like I'm wearing someone else's clothes. It's so bizarre, but it is beautiful. It is a, what's her name? Midge. 
It's an Abercrombie and Fitch, but there's a designer that made the skirt for Abercrombie and Fitch and it is vintage. It is a 1950s piece, possibly early 60s with these beautiful patchwork pieces on it. So I am going to be selling this one as well. So there's already a few true vintage pieces that will be listed if any of you guys want them. I'm kind of sad to let this one go, but I just know I'm literally never going to wear it. Now this cute little number. I bought on my trip to Napoli with my lovely friend Sarah. You may have seen it in my uh, Napoli vintage haul video, which I will link here if you guys are interested. Again, this is another one of those pieces I bought because it was really cute and I do have a thing for like buying vintage just because it's vintage and I found it and I'm excited. But every time I wear it again, I feel like I'm wearing someone else's clothing, like it's just not me. So. I'm going to let it go because it sat in my wardrobe and I wore it once for a video. I've never actually left the house in this skirt. So yeah, that's a waste. It's vintage and somebody else could be enjoying it. So yeah, these shorts again they're pinup girl clothing. I went through a real phase of loving these. I think they make your butt look freaking amazing. But again, they're just not my style anymore. I've had them for so long. This was back when I was more into pinup stuff and I'm very much into vintage 50s with like my own artistic flair these days. They're just not, yeah, these are not my style anymore. This is the Harley Quinn print from Pinup Girl. I know that's pretty coveted. These are very well worn, so they will be at a very cheap price if someone is looking for Pug Harlequin print shorts. This is the second pair of pinup girl clothing shorts. These ones are exactly the same size as the other ones, but they're shorter in the rise. And so, and I have quite a long body and they've always felt like they were riding up in all the wrong places and they are tighter overall. So I've just never, ever been comfortable wearing them. So yeah, these are definitely going. I'm literally just trying them on to show you guys. They have needed to go for so, so long. This romper is actually, a Marc Jacobs romper. I bought this from a market stall in Paris when I first moved to Paris. And I think I'm attached to it because of that. I, again, people give me compliments when I wear this. Everyone's always like, that is the cutest romper. But I don't know. I do feel like I'm wearing someone else's style in it. But then again, sometimes it's nice to keep things that you can just kind of chill out in. And it is a nice thing to kind of wear at home or to wear to the beach. I really don't know with this one. What do you guys think? Should I keep the Marc Jacobs romper or should I sell it? Try not to be biased if you just want to buy it <laughs> and actually be honest. Let me know in the comments, should I keep this one or not? Yeah, I don't know. I'm really torn with this one. <laughs> this is the dress that I was wearing when I met my ex-boyfriend before I moved to Paris and London and went on the great life adventure that has led me to be here. And so I'm definitely hanging on to it for that reason, but I never wear this. I really like how it looks on. I like the cut and everything. I've always thought it was very flattering on me, but like anchor and sailor print is very pin up. I just don't dress this way anymore. I never wear this because of the print, the actual cut and everything of the dress. I would 100% wear if it wasn't anchor print, but the reality is that it is. I actually feel quite sad that I don't wear this dress because I think it's really beautiful and I love the cut and everything. I always felt very Audrey in it. Again, I literally just feel like it's someone else's clothing. I've never been a big swooshy circle skirt kind of girl. I know the pretty dress dresses are really popular with the vintage community and I wear their wiggle dresses to death. I freaking love their wiggle dresses, but this one came and it was, I think one of my absolute favorites in that haul. And then I just never reach for it. And because it is practically new and it does have pockets, I know someone else is gonna love this and I think I should just let it go to a home where it's actually gonna be appreciated. <sighs> I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> this little number is actually from ASOS. I would never shop there now, but I did buy it when I first moved to London before I learned about why mainstream brands like ASOS and Fashion Nova and stuff are very, very unethical and terrible to the people that work for them and the environment. But I did buy this and I've always thought it was really, really cute and I may actually keep it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I always feel slightly uncomfortable because there's not a lot of material between my naked body and the world, but I've always felt incredibly sexy in this and I just love the style. It feels kind of like the outfits that 
Betty Grable wore in those old like island movies, like the holiday movies. Yeah, I'm thinking I may keep this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I bought this 1950s prom dress. It's got like tons of tulle and it's taffeta from an antique store in Whitechapel. And they didn't have anywhere for me to try it on. And when I tried it on, I realized that I am too long in the body for this. So the boobs are like supposed to be like down here. And there's no way I'm gonna fit in. And I can do this up with a corset on, but once that happens, I can't move and I will break the dress if I go anywhere or do anything in it. So unfortunately, this will have to go. This one is already listed on my wardrobe shop. So if you're after a 1950s prom dress, here is one that's up for grabs. I wish this fitted me. I would love to perform in this, but yeah, it's just never gonna happen. Now, this piece I am very reluctant to let go. It is a 1930s dress that has been handed down through my family. So obviously, you know, it has a lot of sentimental value and it is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors and everything, but it is just way too big for me. I have worn it once, but I got given a lot of stuff from the 1930s and the other things do fit and this doesn't. So I think it's better off going to someone who's really going to appreciate it because it is beautiful and very old and very special. And I know someone in the vintage community is going to cherish it. Whereas if I hadn't taken it, it probably would have gone to an op shop. Yeah, I'm really sad to let this one go. This one's going to hurt my heart. If you're in the market for a beautiful sheer 1930s dress, this one is going to be up for grabs. This sexy little yellow number is from Pinup Girl Clothing. It is quite an old piece, but was very coveted at the time. It is the Jane dress. I wore this for the first half of my Hollywood Bombshells cabaret in Australia. So it's another one that is quite nostalgic. It's not really been worn that much in real life though. And again, it's another piece that I just feel doesn't suit my style anymore um as cute as it is but it's just not me and i'm sure someone else would look stunning in it and like to have it so i will let this go despite the memories oh back in the days when i was doing my show in adelaide <sighs> this little baby is from new york city i bought this back when i visited in 2015. Uh, i really love the blazer on this i actually wear the blazer quite a lot. Well, not a lot. I'm going to have a lot of clothing. I have worn it a fair bit. I wore it to Dapper Day. I've got some cute other little pictures in it and stuff, but I've always been sad that I never wore it the shorts. The shorts just, I mean, it's a very 80s outfit. You know what I'm saying? The blazer is very 40s feeling, but the whole outfit is very clearly 80s. Someone moved the button on the shorts, so it would actually fit someone who's my size, but the button has been moved across, so I can't close it, but if it was moved back into place, they would fit perfectly fine. And I feel it's a bit sad to separate it. Like, I know some people do love 80s, or someone might just want to buy it just so they can have the jacket. That's their prerogative. But I just feel sad keeping it when it is a set, you know? So, yeah, this one's going. Okay. Voila. Yes, so they're the items that I will be selling. There are a few extra like odds and ends that will go on there that I didn't try on just because I'm running out of time. I've been doing this for ages now, but there will be more closet purge stuff on my vintage tips and tricks underscore shop IG account. So if you're interested in anything, check it out. Thanks for watching guys. This is quite a cathartic process for me. Um, thanks for being with me all through the past year. I've like, I struggled through 2020. I'm going to be completely honest. I really didn't want to lose my channel on top of the many other things that I lost in the past year. And I know lots of people went through struggles, so it's not like about a poor me thing, but like, I'm just trying to go through the process now of like building myself back up, pursuing what I want to pursue in my life and to be the happiest person that I can be. And you guys have been with me through thick and thin, through my whole journey of like changing countries for the past five years. And I just love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for your support and your encouragement to keep doing what I love and keep making YouTube videos. And I just wouldn't be... I wouldn't be here on YouTube making videos and with my Patreon and with Instagram and everything without you guys. So thank you so, so much 
from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, okay, so getting super sentimental, but that's the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video and any suggestions for future videos. Come and follow me on my Instagram. Check out my Patreon. It is linked down below. We have extra content over there for both general patrons and also a music tier. There are activities, there are stickers, there are discount codes. We have a lot of fun over at Patreon. So if you're interested, do go and check it out. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.